Hey guys, welcome back to Waxing Queen Adventures. This little segment I like to call Waxing Queen Budgets. So today we are going to do some new envelope updates and we're gonna transfer um, envelopes into different binders. And then we're also going to do the third pay um, for this week of February. We're gonna do some cash stuffing. So I'm gonna start off with my coins first. I don't think I got that much coins this week. But like I said, guys, every cent literally matters. I don't know what these keys are for. Usually I just don't like to throw them away. But make sure, guys, um, that you're saving all of your coins. I know usually we get in a habit of thinking we don't need them, but we do. So remember I was talking about my cute little things that I got from the Dollar Tree, just so I can like store my coins or whatever. I mean, I still have a few coins like in my, in my car, you know, in case I need some ice or something, who knows. Oops, I forgot a nickel. I just know that when you have control of where your money is, guys, it makes you not want to spend it on unnecessary, unnecessary things. So I'm like a firm believer of having self-control and delegating my money where it needs to go. So the purpose of cash budgeting, by the way, because a lot of you guys have been inquiring about that, it's not just to take your cash and just put it in these envelopes, guys. It's to designate where your money goes to make your money have purpose. There are times, if you ever felt like there are times where you couldn't pay a light bill or a water bill, but you feel like the two paychecks or the four paychecks if you get paid weekly and a month should take care of all your bills, then that means you're not saving. That means you're spending on unnecessary things, okay? So yeah, you guys gotta chill out with that. So we're gonna go ahead and just see, these are my, Tips and also my pay for the week. So I actually have my own waxing business, but I like to pay myself, guys, because I work hard. And sometimes you're just working and putting all this money into your business account. It's like, well, shit, you know, it's your business. So of course, you feel obligated and you feel like, you're doing it for you, but just keep in mind that you deserve a little cut. That way you can keep your business finances and your personal finances separate. The same thing with business credit. Keep your business separate and keep your personal separate. So when you cash budget, guys, like we talked about before, you wanna make sure that you have a paycheck breakdown okay so whatever I make whatever I make monthly I divide my expenses for the month and four and then I know how much cash to delegate to my cash envelopes now I'm the type of person I use a little bit of my regular checking account when it comes to paying personal bills because I like the auto payments and I use credit cards so that's fine and then what you do at the beginning of the new month what you've been saving for the prior month you take all that cash and you deposit it into either the, the uh, checking account that you want to pay the bills off with or the checking account that you use to pay off your credit card bills. So that's the purpose, guys, is so that you know you have the money, you don't spend it, and you're saving it. Whatever's left over from your paycheck, guys, you have your cash envelopes and your sinking funds that you can delegate money to so you have a little bit of spending and beauty money and you know having a good time. And then you also have um money that you can save for rainy days emergencies christmas and holidays birthdays and all that so a lot of you guys who think that cash budgeting is stupid it may be stupid to you but for some people it's the only way that they can save money so let's get into it i am going to be switching a few things over because i told you guys i was working on my binders right well i finally finished my new binders so we're going to just transfer these, the money in here into the new binder. So first and foremost, this is what the new binder looks like. 
So basically I will be selling these soon in April, May, hopefully sooner than that. And I just think it's just cute, you know? There's different designs, of course. This one's just the same one because I just like simplicity. I like that modern style. Not having to do too much, but it's like perfect. So I uh, got a nice little clear transparent binder and I have the 26 week saving challenge and 52 week saving challenge in the back. This is just to show you guys what it looks like. I probably won't keep the challenges in here. I'll keep it in my challenge binder as normal. But we're gonna go through here and just kind of transfer everything over. All right, so we're gonna do a transfer change and put in this week's amount. So rent always gets 160. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. All right, so for rent, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three. All right, so 320 in rent. You guys can see the money fits in there perfectly. Utilities is going to always get 38 and that's for my light and um not 38 i'm sorry 68 because i pay my parents pay my parents is light bill too so 65 six, seven, eight. so when the time comes to like pay these guys i have like no issues because all my money is saved i deposit what's in my cash binder like you literally have to delegate your money like where it's supposed to go. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll just take out a five. And that's for utilities. And then so literally March 1st, I will take all this out and put it in the bank accounts where it's supposed to go to make my payments. Loans and credit cards. I don't know. I think I have a section here for loans or did I? No, okay, so that one doesn't get anything this time. Actually, no, it gets 37. Laura, I cannot count today. 35, six, seven. I don't know why I cannot count. And then cell phone is going to get 18. And we'll take this one out. I'm one of those people I'm a little slow with money so I always have to like take it all out and then like swap out the bills because I'm really bad at that so that's a five and this is 20 all right And then we have internet and cable, which is going to get eleven dollars. Miscellaneous is going to get five. That's what I just took out. So two fives in there because I have a shit little fives that good old car payment god we can't wait for that to be gone so I'm almost done paying off my car so hopefully starting in April's budget this is one payment that I can deduct is the car payment so normally for the car payment um I usually do 120 one, two, three, four, five. So we have 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, two. I guess I forgot. I just put a hundred. Toiletries is a new one that I've added. I'm going to put 10 into toiletries just for like cleaning supplies, toilet paper, paper towels. I'm only one person, so I won't have to like really purchase that a lot. Uh, groceries. Groceries is always going to get what we put in groceries. 60. So 60 from last week and the 60 from this week is 120. And then we have gas. Gas is going to get 20. Hopefully I don't have to use so much gas, but the cost is going up. So we have 40 in gas. I'm gonna just leave those in there. All right, so nice and stuff. And then once you start like pluffing this up, it gets all nice and full for you. So another thing, guys, so this one we'll just use for another rainy day. You never know. All right, guys, so this is actually another um, little beauty one that I make that I'll be selling as well. So we have the nails, the hair, the massage, the facial, getting more makeup if you need it, and then just miscellaneous beauty. So these are like super cute. I'm so in love with them. And this was actually, like I said, I made for me. So it's just like boom, boom, boom. Love it. Um, I'm going to not use this right now. I'll transfer it, like probably start this one in March. But what I am going to do is we're gonna get our beauty, fun, and family going. So nails is going to get 20. So now we have 40 in nails. So I'm one week behind February because I started all this the second paycheck. So what I'll probably do is just take care of, it is a short month, so I'll take care of majority of my bills through credit card and then utilize the cash that I have in the envelopes um, and delegate it to paying off the credit cards. Because when you have credit cards, you actually wanna spend them, guys. That's how you build your credit. <laughs> um, spending is going to get 10. And spending is just one I want to get a spur of the moment gift or if it's someone's like birthday or something and I wanna buy them a gift. Date night is going to get 10. So now we have 20. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, we have 30 in date night. I must have probably just stuffed it for her prior. Jim's going to get five. And this is only my spending money. This one's easy to catch up because it's not as much money. But the bills ones is like, eh. Um, then we have clothes and shopping, which is going to get 10. So this is, guys, when it's time to buy new clothes, I'll be saving for that. So we now have 20 in here. Dining out is going to get 10. So when your friends ask you to go out to eat or whatever, if you have money in this envelope, then it's a yes. If you don't, then it's a no. So don't forget that. Now we're going to do the sinking funds. So my car insurance is going to get 50. I pay my car insurance um, every six months. So that's like... All right, so now we have a hundred in car insurance. And then Christmas gifts is going to get 20. Save for Christmas now, so when it comes up, you're not like trying to figure out what you wanna get people. And if you can afford it, it's kind of like, well, I already have the money. So let's go. So that's what sinking funds is about. It's just making sure that your money has purpose and it makes sure that you're prepared for emergencies as well. 
So health, vision, and dental is going to get 20. Ooh, my stars came off. Not my stars. Poor little baby. Yeah, I got it. All right, so vacation is going to get 30. And I don't necessarily know what um, I'll be doing for vacation. But I know that if I need spending money, I'll have that prepared. Because it's one thing to actually buy a trip, but it's another thing to... We'll just get a 20. It's another thing to be prepared for the trip, like while you're on it. Because you don't realize how expensive like it can get when you travel. Birthday is going to get... 50. My birthday is July 4th. So every now and then if I do something like local, maybe I just want to get like some fireworks or something. So I just, whatever money I have in here, whatever I feel like spending it on, I'm prepared for it. I don't have to like worry about turning up on my birthday or how I'm going to afford to turn up because I'm saving for it all now. Um, my dog is going to get 30. If you've ever owned an animal, you know that it's expensive. I'm trying these two in for a 20. Emergency savings is going to get 25. So we now have 50 in emergency savings. Miscellaneous is going to get $5. And just like whatever I want, I guess, one of those things. And it's just a sinking fund, so you just never know what you'll spend it on. And then I think I did the clothes. Did I do the clothes? Oh, that was for the other binder. Yeah, I did do it. All right, so sinking funds, done. Now we're gonna move on to our savings challenges. So the saving challenges, remember the, the method is to try your best guys. It's super hard, but as long as you try your best, it all works out fine. Let me grab my highlighter. So for the 50 envelope challenge, come to mama. 50 envelope challenge, I'm going to just do Let's do the 20. Doesn't matter what order you go in, guys, as long as you um, complete all 50 envelopes. That's all that matters. And I put my little slip back in there. And then the 100 envelope challenge. I will do, well, I guess I'll just do 20. You guys know I like to keep everything in sync. So we'll add a $20 bill. Now we have one, 30, 50, 70, 90, 110. 130, 150, 170. And then these just get saved, guys. Um, and at the end of the year, you put it into your, you know, your savings. So 26 week challenge is going to get. So these are really, really cute. And I got these from another cash budgeter on YouTube. I'll put. 30 in this one. And because I'm a business owner, most of my challenges will probably go towards my business. Upgrades, new business ventures, all of that. So we now have one, two, three, four, 100, one, two, three, 190.
And then our 52 week challenge is going to get, let's see, I just put all that. Is there a 20? Oh, I already did 20. So we'll do 25. So 25. So now we have oh, one in there. One, two, three, four, 100. One, two, three, four, 210, 15, 16. And there might be times where I can't do these envelope challenges, but like I said, you try your hardest and your darnest. All right, so these saving challenges are complete. And what I like to do is whatever I have left over here, guys, um, I have a dollar saving challenge that I'm doing. So I'm going to put all these um, into that. And then the money that I have left over, guys, I just like to put it into savings. Because like I said, I'm budgeting my, um, my pay for the week and my cash tips. My cash payments, I just kind of budget it. I kind of put it all in with what I make for the week. And then I separate it. I have a whole pie chart of where I want my money to go for business and for me and for other reasons, supplies and all that. But budgeting is very simple, guys. You just have to want to save money. Um, so keep that in mind. Let me show you guys a few other designs that I have. This is another favorite one. You'll be able to choose which binders you want, guys, whether it's the clear ones or the leather ones. So this one's cute. And there's like different girls. Well, there's that one. There's one with the green. Oh, there she is with the green earring. So this is cute. You get 12 titles. Um, you'll be able to choose which 12 you want. And I'll make those envelopes for you. Another one, guys, for my estheticians cosmetologists that do makeup this is a cool one you guys know i've always think about you guys whenever i do stuff so this is a cool one and then what else we got let's take a look at this one it's a nice leather case so this one is um um uh, like nice one for like jamaica so any jamaicans out there that want to rep this one to be for you all 12 titles um, and the leather binders, guys, you have space to put like gift cards and stuff like that. Because once you get gift cards and like rewards and all that, that needs to get budgeted in. That's a form of payment. So it's a great way to save uh, all of that here. Let's see what else we got going on. This is another color that I'll be having. This one's also like makeup and beauty. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got going on. Uh, this one is the female rappers. So we have Trina, Doja Cat, uh, Remy Ma, Lotto, uh, Sweetie, Dream Doll, Nikki, Meg, Cardi, City Girls, Yo, JT. I don't consider Young Miami to be a rapper, so JT. And then the cash doll and light skinny Keisha. So that this is actually a custom one for one of my clients. Uh, so she requested not to have Young Miami on there. She just wanted JT. This is Cardi B. Oh, <laughs> and then this is another custom one for um, someone else with Cardi B. We have just a nice, simple, elegant flower, galactic looking one, I guess I would call it. So this one's nice and pretty. And we have a few more. So I'm Haitian, so I definitely knew creating one for my Haitian people was a must. So they're all gonna love this one. But I think it's the lady for me that does it. I love it. And then the red just, uh, just insinuate, like it's just, it's good. Don't know how to explain it. And then we have this one, my girls in Paris. So that's another cute one. And let's see, we only got a few left. There's this one if you if you're a nail tech. 
I think the pink goes great. Binder in the envelopes. And then there's this one for my LGBTQ community. And then we got this one, my lash girls, or even eyebrow girls, I guess. This one's for you guys. I have a bunch more, guys. I'm just working on a lot of stuff before launch date. I have April 1st in mind, but it's, you know, it could be May 1st, um, either or. I will let you guys know when things are available and things are up. And then these are the 26-week saving challenges where in total you'll save $3,500. This is if you get paid bi-weekly because you get 26 paychecks. Um, or we have, or are all these not never, never, there we go. The 52 week saving challenges where you do four paychecks if you get paid weekly. So you'll break it up into four payments. And at the end of the year, you'd save $1,750. So these will also be available for purchase. And these are nice and spacious and a little deeper because you'll probably have more money in these. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you all are saving money, guys. It's so important, guys, um, to save and invest. And that's what, you know, I'm trying to just get out there to you guys, especially if you're in the beauty or service industry. Um, you know, typically you get cash tips, so it's easier to kind of budget um, and do cash budgeting. So just keep that in mind when you guys are accepting payments. Encourage your clients to bring you cash so that you can stuff your envelopes and you can save for the month and the days um, to follow for emergencies. But thank you guys. We hit 6,000 subscribers. I appreciate every last one of you. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you guys let your friends know. So share the YouTube videos so your friends can see, especially if you know that one person who can't save any money or that one person that needs to be waxed, right? So either way, it's going to work out. So I'll see you guys next time. And the next time I see you guys, we're going to go over some cool things and I still am working on my business credit um, video for you guys. I have not forgotten. Just remember that I am a full-time wax specialist, I do business credit and I'm a credit consultant and I also have to do YouTube and now cash budgeting. So be patient with me. The videos are coming. I promise. Thank you guys so much. Until next time. Peace.